Hello everyone and uh, now see this mask was asked that is NRBM this is the NRBM mask and this is non breathable mask non breathable mask and NRBM mask this is and now POD orange appearance now it is seen uh, in subdermal lymphatics of the breast due to and this is the POD classical POD orange appearance seen in carcinoma breast now this picture controlled cord tractions uh, which causes tear in placenta uh, next step in management this is the procedure of controlled cord traction now there is a tear with heavy bleeding uh, tear in placenta now what to do uh, we will be doing the blood transfusion and remove the placenta by creed's method now patient presented with eclampsia by giving uh, so mgso4 was given now uh, she is complaining with bilateral absence of patellar jerk now what is the reason behind it so it is the reason the mgso4 toxicity which causes uh, mm, absence of patellar jerk and if there is greater than 15 milliequivalent the mgso4 levels now it can cause it can cause cardiac issues now this picture was given and uh, this area is uh, uh, that was asked so this is the mid pelvis not the pelvis inlet not the pelvis outlet now this picture was given and uh, which investigation is this so this is thromboelastography now this picture uh, was given uh, which was uh, signifying pneumothorax and uh, the management was asked so intercostal drain placement is the management for the same now pregnant lady uh, of uh, 32 weeks gestation develop proteinuria and hypertension now doctors suspecting of the placental insufficiency and it is due to extra villous cytotrophoblast invasion in the spinal spiral artery the main cause is this uh, the extra villous cytotrophic invasion in the spiral artery at 32 weeks of gestation and developing proteinuria. If there is no invasion, then it is placenta previa. Now, uh, lady with low mood on the third day of the delivery, after delivery, it is due to postpartum blues. Now, patient on amino aminophylin develops side effects like uh, seizures and diuresis. So it is due to adenosine alpha-1 mediated receptor which acts on uh, these drugs act on these kind of receptors. Now antiemetic which is used in cancer patients for chemo induced vomiting. So what will be given the metoclopramide will be the drug of choice for this because they are D2 blockers. Now broken vial, uh, broken vaccine vials are discarded in which bags? They are discarded in blue, red, yellow, black. They are discarded in blue bags because in red human anatomical waste and gloves and yellow uh, dirty gauze pieces and black other waste materials are there. Now cell communication types. So this diagram was given. This is paracrine communication because its signaling molecules only affect the target cells in close proximity to secreting cells. This is cell communication type. Now patient on ATT uh, is a occasional drinker and is complaining of tingling sensation. It is due to the deficiency of which of the following vitamin. So I vitamin B6 because isoniazid causes the deficiency of vitamin B6 that is the pyridoxin. Now what is the Bar Warburg's effect? It is the metabolites which are used by the cancer cancerous cells uh, in other pathways. This causes the Warburg's effect. Now aging. Aging and telomerase action was asked. So telomerase decreases while aging now history given of a child suggestive of celiac disease which hledq2 that confirms the celiac disease now diet which should be avoided in celiac disease this is very simple question because gluten diet is avoided and not the fatty diet now doctor on duty operates under alcohol influence leads to vessel cut and patient dies this is criminal negligence 
and it is not a civil negligence or a therapeutic one now patient uh, female 32 years of age and uh, had a history of covid 8 8 months back and uh, complaints of heavy hair fall so what is the cause behind it telogen effluvium now history of sickle cell anemia in child it now develops signs and symptoms what which are suggestive of osteomyelitis the likely cause is the likely cause is salmonella and not staphylococcus aureus now enzyme deficiency which leads to uh, which is seen in um, lead poisoning is uh, ferrochelatase enzyme this is deficient and uh, not ala synthetase now this diagram was given in which red swollen testes with the uh, acute pain uh, the complaints was there so it is of fournier's gangrene and the management is the uh, ruthless debridement to expose the which expose testes both the testes now this picture this is showing acanthosis nigrans and uh, this is seen in uh, mostly pcod or any like metabolic syndrome so the answer is metabolic syndrome and uh, cardiac collapse during delivery with profuse bleeding and history of dic so what uh, what can be the cause the cause is the uh, this is a very controversial question so but i think the answer should be amniotic fluid embolism now you can discuss below what you have marked uh, so we can discuss this later also i think it, the answer should be amniotic fluid embolism now at the level of ischial spine rt molding is double plus and caput is double plus so what is the management so no doubt the management is lscs because on when it is on the level of ischial spine the it is zero station so uh, we can't use vacuum and forceps Vac these both are contraindicated when the when it is on zero station contraindications for cervical cartilage so it is uh, contraindicated when there is a rupture of fetal membranes and uh, it is not contraindicated in prolapse now position of uterus on day two after delivery so that is one finger below the umbilicus one two three four but answer is one finger below umbilicus now mother uh, 18 months postpartum still breastfeeding the baby with irregular and heavy menses and she wants contraception so in this uh, see the options were pro prostate third and uh, net n ocps and iocds so first of all we will talking we will be talking about prostate as a cert which is not used now in, in spite of this mirena is used now now net n is a progesterone injection but it is not used uh, now copper iucd this is contraindicated in uh, heavy bleed so we will be giving uh, in 18 months postpartum oc pills will be the best choice for contraception now multiple fractures of long bones in fetus in antenatal scan so what can be the diagnosis so osteogenesis genesis imperfecta due to this this the multiple fractures of long bones in antenatal skin you can detect now history of oligohydramnios seen with uh, it is seen with renal agenesis now contraindication for iud insertion see again i have just mentioned before that uh, contraindications for iud is heavy bleeding or menses so this will be the answer and not after delivery and not trophoblastic diseases now patient with hemolysis with increased liver enzymes and uh, low platelets like 70 000, 75 thousand platelets and uh, liver enzymes the ldh is raised to 700 and alt and asd sd otsd pt are raised so this is all the scenario is making of help syndrome h e l l p syndrome this slide was given and uh, the history was given like 
फार्मर हु इज हैविंग ट्रॉमा इंजरी एंड इज अ कॉलीफ्लावर ग्रोथ ओवर द लेग लाइक दिस दीज आर द कॉलीफ्लावर ग्रोथ लाइक ऑन द लेग्स एंड इन दिस हिस्टोलॉजी कॉपर पैनी बॉडीज आर सीन यू कैन सी कॉपर पैनी बॉडीज so and uh, branching hyphae are seen so the answer is chromoblastomycosis this is uh, the typical features all the features are suggestive of that only so that is the answer see cauliflower growth now dimorphic fungi uh, fungi with the red color rivers and uh, this fungal infection is seen in hiv positive male so which of the which of the following organism is there so telluromyces marnefi this is the answer it is uh, seen in hiv positive cases and with it is a dimorphic fungi with red color reverse seen now vaginal candidiasis which medium is used to identify the species in vaginal candidiasis uh so uh, options were sd agar brain heart infusion agar and chrom agar so c h r o m chrom agar is used and it is the answer for this question to diagnose vaginal diagnosis species now a 12 year old boy came with right upper quadrant pain and icterus and fever and examination shows tender hepatomegaly and there is no history of dyspnea hematuria blood bloody stools and uh, there is a conjunctive conjunctival suffusion is there this that is present to with the 12 year old boy so the options were leptospirosis chikungunya uh, fever and dengue hemorrhagic fever but the answer is leptospirosis because this triad is seen the jaundice with tender hepatomegaly and with splenomegaly with conjunctive conjunctival suffusion this is seen in leptospirosis now military person with a rash on the body and uh, sparing the palms soles and lies present on examination so this is uh, uh, easy that the organisms were rickettsia pro provexi is the answer provexi not typhi not acari now best investigation to detect clostridium difficile c this is uh, the options were gdh and toxin sa gds sa alone and aerobic culture of the stool because it is seen in stool so gda and toxin gdh and toxin sa this is done to best investigation to detect the clostridium difficile this otoscope finding was given with the history of uh, in the question child with hearing loss for 2 months and this in this otoscopic finding we can see fluid and air bubbles so fluid and air bubbles these are seen in the otoscopic findings of serous otitis media that's a som now a adult male in restaurant who is conscious and sudden choking on food on having food so what maneuver is done so hamlich maneuver is done that is the abdominal thrust that that is done options were abdominal thrust like hamlich maneuver chest thrust and blind finger incision these are not done chest thrust is not done abdominal thrust or hamlich maneuver is maneuver maneuver is done now semster triad was given in which rhinosinusitis with polyposis asthma with ansets intolerance was given so which drug is needed to be avoided so aspirin is avoided in semester triad with in this triad because it is also known as aspirin exacerbated respiratory disease aerd so this is very important and uh, you need to remember this for further exams also now which of the following is not included in who step approach so behavior psychological physical these three were included and the therapeutics these are not included in the who step approach see behavior lifestyle and uh, substance use substance use exercise diet these are inclusive in the physical and biochemistrical biochemistry measurements physical and biochemistry measurements these are all included but therapeutics are not included in who step approach recall so uterine artery uh, doppler done at the 12 to 14 weeks 
so what would it detect so it detects early onset pre eclampsia and this is the answer it is done only for detecting early onset disease like pre eclampsia now acidic fluid which has increased uh, pm and cell count like the polymorphonuclear cells which is greater than 600 per ml so what it indicates it indicates spontaneous bacterial peritonitis now this image was given uh, which and ask which type of hymen is this so you can see a septa in between so this is a septate hymen this was asked now image based question with uh, frequent pus discharge from a sinus uh, in uh, perianal area perianal area with the frequent uh, complaints of frequent pus discharge so what what can be the diagnosis it is fistula in no for sure now varicose vein surgery uh, followed by patient came with the history of varicose vein surgery and followed by medial loss of sensation in the legs numbness in the legs in the medial side to which nerve is involved so saphenous nerve is involved and not a sural nerve many of them are asking about the sural nerve but it is saphenous nerve which is involved now which which is not found in men to be syndrome so in men to be syndrome there is mucosal neuroma and morphinoid morphinoid hepatitis they are present and megacolon is also present in men to be syndrome can be seen in men to be syndrome now so parathyroid adenomas they are associated with 2a hyperplasia 2a men 2a syndrome not 2b syndrome now this image was given in which this bone was exposed and this is a typical image of grade 4 bed sore now female with uti uh, started on drugs uh, for uti and which caused a tendon injury in the children so tendon injury is caused by uh, fluoroquinolones and including the ofloxacin and fluoroquinolones these are responsible for tendon injuries uh, which, uh, which causes these causes drug induced these drugs are responsible for drug induced tendonitis or tendon injuries now TCA toxicity, what is the management? So, management is uh, gastric lavages and all, but the options in the options, and there is IV bicarbonates, and this is the mechanism best management. This is the management of choice for TCA toxicity. Now, PCSK9 inhibitors, what are these inhibitors? These are asked in previous AIMS exams also. So, they are alirocumab and evolocumab. So, cumab is there in these inhibitors and uh, alirocumab is the answer for this now growth hormone receptor antagonist what are the growth hormone receptor antagonist so peg visomint is the drug for uh, growth hormone receptor antagonist now management for restless leg syndromes now what is the management so premipexole and romi ropinirol these are the management for restless leg syndrome, premipexol and ropinirol. Now, which of the following drug has the least side effect on pleura? So, out of the options like uh, metformin, bromocryptin and nitrofurantoin, metformin has the least side effect on pleura. So, Rice water diarrhea is due to uh, intoxication of which of the gangliosides. So, GM1 gangliosides is involved by intoxication because it is intoxicated by the cholera toxin. Now, most common complication of untreated radial head dislocation this is the malunion with cubitus varus. This is very important and very frequently asked. Now, type of uveitis which is seen in sympathetic ophthalmopathy so not anterior and not posterior pan uveitis is seen the options were anterior posterior pan so pan uveitis uh, was seen now uh, you can see uh, this image was given and betot uh, spots were uh, there in the this image and which vitamin deficiency was asked so vitamin a deficiency uh, betot spots are seen in xerophthalmia
now a primary woman with normal regular cycles now delayed for two weeks with the vaginal bleeding uh, with abdominal pain and beta hcg is uh, 1400 upt is negative and uh, blood plus blood pressure is normal uh, an ultrasound uterus tri laminar appearance is given so what is the next step in management so next step is we have to repeat beta SCG in 48 hours. This is the answer. We have to repeat beta SCG in 48 hours. Now, which site of implantation causes severe vaginal bleed? When uh, caution was given that 22 week primary woman uh, with the blood pressure normal uh, came to emergency with profuse vaginal bleed. So, this is seen in uh, 22 weeks placenta previa and uh, and when the implantation is on uh, internal os there is severe vaginal bleed now patient had history of c section in uh, previous pregnancy now she is 34 weeks pregnant and she is insisting of uh, vaginal delivery and in ultrasound there is fetus in breach so what will be the management so it will be c section at 37 weeks and uh, vaginal delivery is contraindicated and because of previous pregnancy is c-section now this image was given in which you can see appreciate the target sign and which is seen in pseudo exfoliate glaucoma pseudo exfoliate glaucoma this was the answer now uh, stimulus for testosterone release in fetus and uh, it is due to hcg produced by the placenta it is uh, the testosterone stimulus it is due to scg produced by the placenta now uh, there is another question which in which child presented with exercise fatigue and uh, differential diagnosis is mccartley's disease so what is the enzyme defect in this so enzyme defect is myophosphorylase this is the enzyme defect defect myophosphorylase now this uh, histology image was seen in which Michaelis Gutman bodies are seen. So it is of which disease? It is of Malacoplakia. This uh, histology image was given. So first question, there was a radiological image seen in which claw sign was seen. And in a 11 month old child with pain abdomen. So this is mainly seen in into susception. So the answer was intussusception and not malrotation or anything because claw sign is seen in uh, intussusception. On this is a barium enema image. So this is the answer was intussusception. Now uh, this uh, was asked to identify the ear ossicles. So this image was asked and this was marked. So incus uh, was asked it was marked and ear ossicle which was asked was incus so answer was incus and now oil drop sign typical oil drop sign was asked and uh, it is due to nail bed parakeratosis and it is seen in uh, which disease so psoriasis it is seen in so this was the answer and oil drop sign Now, secular aneurysms are seen in which of the following diseases? And so, subarachnoid hemorrhage, the answer is, it is seen in subarachnoid hemorrhage. Now, this scan, uh, this image was given the orange and red appearance of the whole body with some yellowish and all the parts. So, which of which of this scan is? This is PET CT scan, the positron emission tomography, PET CT, the answer is PET CT. Now, um, HSG image given and this is C, uh, bicornuate uh, uterus was the answer. This is bicornuate uterus or septate uterus. So this was the answer. And this HSG image was given to identify. Now this image was given. This, uh, and this is Staghorn calculi. This is a urology question and uh, in the X-ray KUB was given. And uh, this is the stagon calculi and not any structure. Now, uh, this question was given and this chest x-ray was given and gas in the diaphragm is, can be seen. You can appreciate the gas in the diaphragm. So, what will be the management? Uh, gas in the diaphragm is due to intestinal perforation. 
and the management is emergency laparotomy and proceed now uh, next question g6 p deficiency is given so it affects which metabolic pathway so it affects the hmp pathway now crumbled tissue appearance was is given and which is the which enzyme is defective in this so it is seen in crumbled tissue appearance is seen in gaucher's disease and it is due to the deficiency of glucocerebrosidase enzyme now complex four inhibitors are this is a one liner and very much asked so cyanide is the answer and uh, no confusion in this now cherry red spots give uh, in with mental retardation this is the typical features of tay sachs disease and it is very easy one liner now this histology image was given and uh, in which they, you can appreciate cell next uh, nest and uh, isogenous cells were given so this is of which, which cartilage it is uh, they are seen in hyaline cartilage 